We've got a new rider, a young rider, actually. Listen, this guy, he's all the way from the USA. Can you give it up for the young gun, Brian Maya? What's up, guys? All right, so I'm leaving the show, and it was... It was really wild. Uh, A lot of crazy things ended up happening. So first, we go and do our interviews. Uh, Everything goes good there. What kind of tricks we're gonna see? Uh, You're gonna see everything uh, from upright tricks to uh, possibly even one of of us uh, getting upside down. You wanna see that? You guys can see a backflip? I don't know. I don't think guys are loud enough. Yeah, exactly. We don't need you guys cheering out there. We're not gonna try very hard. So unless we can hear you get loud, we're not gonna throw one of these things upside down. Let's hear it. These are your freestyle motocross riders. You'll see them back in the second half of the show. They're going to be jumping back, excuse me, ramp to ramp, right here on the front stretch over these cross cars. 75 feet in distance, 35 feet in distance. And you can see a lot of on the But we go to ride over to the infield to get the blow up lander set up because it it rained the night before so it was kind of sticky and muddy we wanted to get it aired up so all the water and stuff would run out of it so it wouldn't be so heavy to move they immediately went into intermission well intermission is the time that uh tj and i are supposed to be jumping so we had to hurry up and try to move the lander ramp i put the takeoff ramp right where it needed to be and i looked over and the lander ramp was still in the same spot that it was but it was turned like 90 degrees they hook straps to the d-rings of the bottom of this lander and this thing is heavy even though it's a big balloon it's heavy uh and the guy running the loader that was moving it i guess pulled too hard or too fast or something and it ripped the d-rings out of the bottom of the lander so it was basically stuck where it was so in most cases most shows for fmx riders that's like all right we're done we can't jump whatever we looked and we had enough of a gap to put the takeoff ramp in front of the lander still. So the setup is now completely different from where you've been practicing it. The run-up is in a different spot. The ramp is in a different spot. The lander's in a different spot. The stopping distance is in a really short time before you hit a concrete barrier. The ground is wet, if not muddy, and puddles in in some spots. The sun is in a different spot, and now there is what we call a headwind, which basically means when you hit the ramp, you have a breeze or a wind uh, that's coming around where the stands and stuff are and coming towards you from a slight angle. So in most FMX shows, this is like, no, we're, we're not even gonna do it, it's too dangerous. I don't know if we were pushed past the breaking point of just everything's just going wrong and we're just gonna go with it but
You guys liked this footage that we got of the show but before I go straight home I wanted to either stop at Mark Peretta's place or Jeremy's or you know somewhere and like ride a little bit I ended up getting a hold of someone that I haven't met yet don't even know each other but this dude's got a pretty sick FMX setup I'm headed over to his house now to ride tomorrow and I'm not gonna tell you who this guy is because I'm superstitious but Tomorrow's vlog is gonna be good. So I'm gonna leave it here for you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, make sure you are living your dreams because I know I am. And I will start a new vlog tomorrow. See you guys.